Enough, enough, enough with that. We'll, we'll get on to the match. That's what really matters here. It is going to be Ven versus Fruits, Zelda versus Pac Man. Honestly, this is one of those mashups I have never really seen. It's it is like one of those things where like they're both really good distance characters and really strong mid range, and even in I think in some cases Pac-Man has the better long range between him and Zelda. Well, actually, I almost argue Zelda has as much as good long range as Pac-Man. But man, it is this is definitely one of the more rare matches I've ever seen. Nothing short of what you would expect in a last chance qualifier. gonna say I can't say fruits is the best pack in the world yet this is but T is good T is good I think both players are very strong all right excellent back throw coming out from fruits oh back air to hit out then I think for Van like, he has to be really self-conscious about like all right cool when I am at the distance like I have to really be scared of uh, no one intended like pac-man's fruits per se just because of how the character can use that to his advantage farther it's faster than zelda's distance game for sure like zelda has good long range but it's too long to start up and i think pat man having that faster long range like that with apple is much better than than Ven's zelda so you have to really be careful see i don't think t teaches english i have never heard him speak english at all though if he does that's news to me All right, then here on the dense fire, it's really good. Like that's the thing here is when it comes to the setup game, I think for when it comes to the, the projectile game, Pac-Man wins by speed. When it comes to the setup game, Zelda wins in terms of just everything else altogether because of the, the delays. So that kind of helps out a little bit for Zelda particularly. Oh, Fruits is an English teacher. That's why they are the best Pac-Man possibly. Teaching kids is hard, man. I'll say that for sure. Yeah, look at that speed. In that time that Ven had set up Knight to try to fight out Fruits in that distance, Pac-Man won. And that makes it so difficult for Zelda just because like she is good in terms of like, I look at it like this. In the chess game, Zelda wins, but in the really fast speed checkers, Pac-Man wins. Two different games entirely, but that goes to show both characters' game plans. That kind of what gives Fruits the edge. Really, really weird analogy, I know, but that gives Fruits the edge in the matchup a little bit. Particularly with Pac-Man. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and reset this properties. Hold on. I'm gonna deactivate this and reactivate this because I had there there was a little bit of a delay. If you guys have a heart, and it, or if you guys don't have one, who knows? People are very different. And, uh, consider heading up to that donation of the, uh, the Alzheimer's, A-L-Z-Z-O-C dot live. You guys can hit that donation, hit the donation bar to go up. Currently we have $10. I would love if we got $20. If I get 20 bucks in there on the donation drive, I, will, I don't know what you guys want from me. I'll tell you guys something. Fruit, fruits, fruits being a teacher does have something to do with smash skill because that allows you to have a different mindset altogether. Definitely what you do in your professional life and in your personal life will offset how you play the game altogether. People, people definitely don't pay attention to that a lot. I think, I think if people actually understand like how you are in your professional life, 
will definitely help you determine in the game. If you're a guitar player, your ability to memorize notes will allow you to have that ability to memorize combos much faster and easier. That will definitely go together hand in hand together. Fruits being a teacher, let alone will have them have a strong understanding of people's personality types and also how they play the game. There's, there's a lot, dude. I think people throw that away at, at hindsight, but in reality is it goes a lot together with you as a player. How do you donate to that? You guys can definitely just type it out there on your web browser or on your phone. A L Z A L sorry A L Z O C dot live, and then you guys will be able to hit the donation there. I believe if you guys got, it should be there on the link. But it definitely, we'll help the donations go. If you guys donate, I will give. I don't know. Whatever you guys want to know, I'll tell you guys. ALZ dot, yeah, ALZOC dot live. Thank you, Lux, for that one. I will post it in the chat. I'll, I'll, whatever info you guys want. If you guys are watching the YouTube VOD, you guys can still donate. Help out, man. Anything helps within the time of this recording. Within a week's time, I would say. Uh, <laughs> don't do it like two months later and stream is live not longer there uh good for ven to get that up he had a shield definitely sense of the cross coming out there from fruits that's really good for zelda it's kind of a really good escape option out of shield that's the one thing i've always noticed about ven it's either going to be nairu's love or Fowler's win just to get out of those options out of shield especially from that cross up from fruits and it, it's just good all, all together you get away from the situation and you get to punish pac-man at the same time and you give him a ladder All right, then on the setup here, this forces him to evaluate. That was the, see, that's good. That's the setup that you want to see from Zelda. What a call out there on the getup too, just because of the way that Vin had closed the distance. At that situation in particular, Fruits had to either jump, which you still have to worry about the sword swing. If you jump improperly, the sword will hit you from nine. And then either way, Vin could react to the jump. So it's kind of like a really tough situation altogether that fruits had to deal with there there's a few things fruits can do or you can just um where you could just get up and you just get up roll and then you just time that with with that situation there but it becomes really difficult it, it just becomes a game of reaction i feel but anyways like i said if you guys want access to info if somebody donates a, a dollar any donation guys i'm serious any donation this goes to a good cause it goes to alzheimer's um it doesn't even go to me it goes to Alzheimer's. It goes for a really good cause. And definitely that's the cause you want to support. So if anybody out there donates and has a heart to donate, uh, ask me a question and I will answer the question irregardless of it. Well, please keep it PG, man. <laughs> I don't want you guys to be asking me some serious sus questions. But within the range of things, if I tell you I can't answer, I'll give you a different question to ask me. That's fair. Uh, coming out here on game three, though, Fruits and Ven back at it yet again. Uh, for specifically for Ven, he had, like I said, it's the setup game. I think the one thing that makes Ven such a strong char character and player altogether is his ability to set up situations. Yeah, if David Zoo, if you donate a dollar, a dollar, anywhere, anywhere from a dollar, you know, anywhere from a dollar plus, I'm trying to see that bar go up to 20. I didn't show your message. All right, Halvid, tell me your message. It'll probably update. It was a really important message. Type your message. Type your message. Uh, I I will take it. Sometimes it sometimes those things take a while to actually properly <laughs> um, update from time to time. That's just how it be. It was Tifa Lockhart Besco. That is that is a really important message. I will admit to everybody out there, Tifa Lockhart is definitely best girl. She is not only the best like like lo love interest for a protagonist in a game. Um, but the one thing I do here, okay, I'm gonna make this bigger because I want that to be bigger. There you go, fifteen dollar reduce right there. Thank you so much right there, Helvet. It is important message. Tifa Lockhart is the best girl, easily. Um, T 
Tifa Lockhart is best girl. Dude, she's she's honestly no, you Yuffie is great. You mean home wrecks, not house wrecks. Um I I think second place has to go to Jesse though. Real talk. If second place has to go to Jesse, Helmet. Jesse was so close. I was like, dude, Jesse, whatever they did with Jesse. Yuffie, Yuffie's a cool, fun character. Yeah, Yuffie is a child. I, don't, I can't even remember the character's age. I remember it's just like she's like a teenager. At the beginning of the, the character's arc in Crisis Core, she's like a child. But then, yeah, she's like a rebellious child. And then she becomes more of a like rebellious teenager. Um, Yuffie does go through a really strong character arc, though. If you, uh, I definitely like what they're doing with the character in the interlude. But Tifa Hawkheart, best girl. She's Cloud's best homie, best love interest. She's cool altogether. She's powerful. She's a fighter. I don't know. Tifa definitely one of the best, like, be one of the best love interests you can have for a protagonist in a JRPG. One of the best, for sure. So shout outs to your five dollars and it goes to a great cause. I'm telling you guys right now. They Jesse is a weird simp in the remake, but my favorite thing about Jesse is the humanization that they do to the character. Like Jesse definitely becomes more of a human character in that game in, in the altogether that I have to admit, like. Dude, Jesse is great. All right, I do want to get back to this match though. I, I, Final Fantasy VII Remake talk, talks a lot. I will definitely hear on the map. For for Ven here in particular in, in this final stock scenario, it it is more or less of like I kind of have to play aggressive and less setup heavy and i think that's why we're seeing Ven not go for those setups with knight anymore we are seeing Ven take advantage of okay cool i have to be more into pac-man's face now i don't want to close the distance because when it comes to that like i said pac-man accelerates more oh no that's a tough setup here that was so close that would have been the back air and i felt that that was, that was definitely a struggle that you should have not have had Oh no, that, see what I'm saying? Like that distance game, the minute that Ven was at the ledge, Fruits was able to just forward tilt, set the, <laughs> and that was the funniest way to think about it. You just give him the kick, kick the Hydra out of the way and see, see Ven, <laughs> see Ven in game four. Just, just a little bit of the toe, man. Just, just, just toe that hydrant. But yeah, Zelda will struggle in the distance. Just like I said, I'm broken record at this point. Pac-Man's projectiles are definitely faster than Venz. Venz is more set up or heavy. I did see somebody donate another five bucks. Honestly, guys, I, I know YouTube is going to be like, yo, man, this commentary should be more about the game, but this goes into a good cause. Plus, Vance is solo commentating, so I definitely want to communicate with the community and the chat as well. And if you guys are watching in YouTube, you guys can watch us live. Twitch.tv forward slash 2G Gaming, where you guys can interact with me and other commentators. Jesus, we had Peter Berkman, one of the, literally from Anime Man Gucci. If you guys join us live, thanks to last by that on that by the way. If you guys join us live, you guys can interact with cool people. Anime Man Gucci, one of my favorite bands. Like, I was like what in like high school when I heard about them. No, I was in middle school. I was like in middle, like 2006. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was in middle school when I heard about them, and I was like, great. Um, somebody did donate another five dollars. Thank you so much for that, by the way. Please type your question in the chat. JMX is hard at working on making sure your your questions get read out with each donation. Um, so definitely type your type your question, and I will answer your question. Technically speaking, it is summer today. Today is the first day of the summer solstice. Summer happens between June 21st to September 21st. I'm, tem I'm, tem I'm telling you right now that between anywhere between today, next month, the month after that, and before September, we will be back with MSM Offline. Mark my words. That's summer right there for you guys. 
what determines the last Smash Alzheimer's player? This last chance qualifier that you guys are watching right now, and then, and then, and Fruits out here scrapping for it. And Fruits a little bit of a lead, lead loss here, but he's got the stage control, and that's where it starts to take take control. I will switch the name for you guys. I apologize. Um, so for Fruits in particular, he has to make sure that he fights Zelda at the distance. The keep away ha game has to be strong, but no, not so more of that. But like the ability to just force Zelda into situations like that. Look at that big cross up to damage. That's big. I think that's what makes Pac-Man better in this matchup is Pac-Man can afford to be aggressive much better than Zelda can. Will Wi-Fi turn this? Uh, if you guys want to ask, okay, I'll answer your question. But if you guys have more questions, please donate and then type your questions in the chat. Uh, your bigger questions, but I will definitely still answer your regular questions. Um, will Wi-Fi attorney stay relevant in the next six months? I believe so, yes, to a degree. Here at 2GG, we've had a lot of Wi-Fi tournaments being offered before. We've had Battle Network Thursdays. We do want to offer something for you guys like that, but we also want to make sure we're able to provide the best possible experience. For Ven, that was an incredible uh, setup there because he just provided fruits with the worst possible experience you could ever have with a setup on the ledge. But I think that's what Ven has been doing this entire time is making sure that all the setups are at the ledge are on point. And that's what makes it so hard for fruits. I think when it comes to the close quarters combat and the distance game, that is fruits winning. But when it comes to the setup ledge game, Ven is winning. And ultimately game five is going to be the full circle of who will do better all together. All right, here, game five, last game scenario here. Let's go ahead and switch this uh, overlay for you guys here. Midnight, if you want to donate, I mean, I'll check if you guys donated. If you donated, uh, I will definitely answer your question, Midnight. I will, I actually, that's something I have to let JMX answer. I can, that, that, cause he knows more about it than I do. Um, back to the match though. Cool, I now have I now have alerts set up there. So now whenever you guys donate, I will be able to see the alerts. That's what I wanted to set up for you guys. Mm, browser source. That, um, that's a little bit of OBS teaching you guys how to easily work OBS. How to set up Streamlabs. I should do that for you guys. Teach a class about how to set up Streamlabs OBS. Anyways, I, I have been busy talking to chat and looking at how things have been going for Ven and Fruits is really different. I think once again, just gauging off the small interactions they've been having at ledge, I think Ven has been doing a pretty solid job. Altogether, just trying to watch out for fruit steps at the ledge, but now he's taking into account like things that fruits have been able to do and trying to set up and stop him forward to. Like I said, Ven is just accelerates at the ledge guards altogether, just and stopping fruits from coming in. And it makes it really difficult for fruits altogether. It's just the way that Ven has time to set up altogether and change the interactions between the two. I will tell you guys right now Hollywood Action Tuesdays, aka Hat. Um, it's, it, yeah, it's like JMX said, one event at a time, MSM gets priority, and Ren gets priority with that full setup against 
for fruits with that forest match because that did not bode very well for him. And Van will take that with a 3-2 over fruits. Man, oh man, Van came out there with the heat.